Jesus, he looks so lovely like that. Should he be covered up like that? Won't he be too hot? He likes it. Oh, well. Um, he was in his way, you say? Yes. Well, I'm glad you could come. God will appreciate it, I'm sure. Seeing us all, it all should be here, sir. want Evelyn and John to come today. That's how I know. All of a sudden, he doesn't want to see them. Oh. I tried to get her to say something. Evelyn? Did she? No, she's not saying anything. Well... Well, she's... I've never trusted her an inch. She's got one of those really mean little faces, doesn't she? Why don't you talk it over with Paul? Paul? We haven't talked for years. I don't know what to say then. Find everything? Fine. Marsh is just calling her husband. Hello, Jum Jums. It's Marsh, darling. Marge, baby. How are you feeling? Not bad, love. Oh god, I ran out of nose drops and I need them now. Baby, where can I find more? Can you manage to get across the chest of the drawers, sweetie? The one that's near. By the window, yes. You'll find them in the top drawer. The red box. That's right, darling. Can you manage that all right on your own? I think I can, love. Right. Bye, honey. He's so sick. Poor baby. Poor Gordon. It's not fair. It's a pity he'll miss Colin. What happened to Colin's fiancée? She just died? Drowned. In the sea. Oh. Now, we must not get morbid. We're here to cheer Colin up. Have you seen my shoes anywhere? Hello, Paul. Oh, hi. Uh, my shoes. Where are they? Upstairs. Oh, right. Ladies, I leave it to you if you don't mind. Look after yourself. I gotta do something upstairs. Don't be too long, will you, dear? Colin is coming soon. Colin? Who? Oh, don't be stupid. You know who he is. I told you he was coming. No, you didn't. This morning, I told you. Yeah, sure. Anyways, I got a lot to do upstairs. Paul, you can't do that. Colin is coming. He's your friend. He's not my friend. Never was. He always does that. Every time. I... I spent ages getting this ready. He's always doing this. Sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. Evelyn, could I have a word with you? What? I want you to answer me something perfectly honestly. <sighs> what? Have you, you know, with her husband? Have I what with whom? Can you put that magazine down? I think you know what I'm talking about. Do you or not? No. Truthfully? I said no. Oh, well, that's alright then. We did it in the back of his car the other day, but I wouldn't call that a love affair. It was awful. It was horrible. I won't ever do that again. How disgusting. Jenna knows about this, you know? Then he must have told her. I didn't. It wasn't necessary. She put two and two together. 
He didn't want you here today. That's a proper signal. He doesn't like me very much though. That's why he didn't want me here today. He liked you enough to... Not after what I said to him. What did you say? I said thank you very much. That was as exciting as being made love to by a sack of clammy cement. And when he kindly drive me home. Well, that wasn't very, very nice. He's horrible. Worse than my husband and that's a thing to say. I've tried many men. No one worse than those two. Poor John. God help him being married to you. He will catch up with you one of these days. He knows. He knows? Nothing he can do. Does he know about you and Paul? Probably. He's not going to complain. Why not? Well, he relies on Paul for business, doesn't he? Business before pleasure. That's John's motto. Sounds as yours too. There's not much pleasure to be had around this place, is there? I'm sorry. I find your attitude mm -hmm. disgusting, heartless, cruel and disgusting. Poor little child. Only if you knew. Poor little Walter. One of us had better answer that, hadn't we? Yes. I suppose it had better be me. That was adorable, wasn't it? What if it's calling? I don't know what I'm going to say if it is. You see what you've done to them? The atmosphere was never that tense. It was never like that. Hello, hello. You took your time. It's only 20 past. You took your time. Yes. Where's the gone to? Upstairs, I think. Hello, son. Say hello to daddy. Don't. He's asleep. Well, we should keep him awake. He won't sleep at night. Fantastic. Where's Paul? Upstairs. Oh. <laughs> no calling yet? Not yet. Well, he better hurry up. Then we can get it over with. Thought he was a friend of yours. Haven't seen him for years. I don't know what to say to him. I don't think he'll ever want to talk about it. He want to forget. Hope so. I hate death. Gives me the creeps. Death, death, death. Shut up. Okay, I give up. Is Paul coming down? I have no idea. I have done my best in giving up. Tell him to do what he wants. Most probably he won't come, so we have to cope with Connie on our own, won't we? If Paul's not coming down, it'll be a bit... Quiet. Apparently he's too busy to come see his so-called best friend. So, how's Gordon? Is he coming? I'm afraid he's not well at the moment. Oh! <laughs> Sit down, for heaven's sake. I don't like sitting down. I don't enjoy it. <laughs> Will you please sit down, Sean? You're getting on my nerves. Sorry, sorry. Hello, hello, he's arrived. Well, here I am then. So we see. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? I'm not so sure. Well, make up your mind. I'll go upstairs again. I really don't know what we're going to talk about. We haven't seen him for three years. I don't even know this girl's name. Carol. Well, that's something. I can see what good this is going to do for him. Coming around here, talking to us about it. He probably won't want to. Then, what are we going to talk about? It's just embarrassing, isn't it? What's embarrassing? Seems natural to ask him about it and comfort him a little. A lot of comfort he'll get here. We can try. It's only for an hour. As long as he doesn't start talking about death, I don't mind. If he starts on about death or anything, I'm off. I don't know why you came. You don't like him. Colin? I don't mind him. I didn't like him. You went around with him enough. And Colin always went off with my sister, so I was stuck with you. Very funny. It's true. We both fancied Colin, really. That is patently untrue. That is a lie. God, chill. It was a joke. Anyways, come to that. Why do you think we both came wrong? Come on, stop it. Colin's not going to want this. He'll want to feel among friends, not enemies. If you really fancied Barbara, then why didn't you go off with her? Forget I said it. You're making it up for it now, aren't you, dearest? With your other little... No, I want the last remaining explain if you don't mind. 
You know perfectly well what I'm talking about. E ball. I don't have the slightest idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Well, ask her then, huh? I'm sure she has. Oh, don't sit there looking so innocent and smug. I know all about you. What are you drawing Evelyn into this for? If anyone has dragged her into this, it's you. You are the one who's dragged her in. Literally. I don't know what you're talking about. You know bloody well what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you and her, you bastard. I'm going home. Yes, you go home, little bitch. You can't go home now. Colin's coming. To hell with him. She's just hysterical. Now, listen, the- Don't you dare come near me. Yeah! You woke him, him up now! I did. Where are you going? I'm taking him home. Evelyn! Evelyn! How can you stand there as if you were innocent? Listen, if you could tell me what you are talking about, I could perhaps I answer you. That's the door, but I can't go out. There's someone at the door. Get out of my house. I'm trying to. It'll be calling. Colin? I'm taking Wayne in the garden. Don't go home, Evelyn. Would you listen a minute? D, get a grip on yourself. D. What? Colin's at the door. Oh no. Shall I let him in? Do you mind, Marge? You seem the calmest among us. I am not calm. Believe me. Did you tell her? Who? D. What about? About Evelyn and me. I didn't. Why should I? I mean... It was just one of those things, wasn't it? Right. What would happen again? Certainly wouldn't. Did Evelyn tell Dee? I don't think so. Can't see why she would. Not reason at all. It was a bit of a shock when she told me, but I'm not bitter. Somebody told her. Here he is. Colin, old mate, how are you? Great to see you, Sean. Hello, Cole. Where are the girls? This is just out in the kitchen there, Evelyn's with the baby. Hey, yes, you've got a baby. Boy or girl? Boy, four months. Great, congratulations. Gordo Seal, you say? I'm afraid so. Nothing serious, I hope. Oh no, he always looks worse than he is. Hold. I'll see you in a minute. Right. Very nice place you got. Thank you. Um. How are you feeling? Oh, pretty fair. Lost a little weight lately. That helps. Yes. What's your wife's name again, Sean? I forgot. Before I meet her. Evelyn. Right. Did this great and tell me. Sorry, I forgot. She's alright. Is she? Paul? <laughs> eh? This Evelyn of his. Oh, yes, yes. She's alright. I'm not early, am I? No, no. Look, I think I'll just go see if I can sort the girls out of there. Give them a hand. Excuse me. Of course. Hello, Colin. I'm so sorry. So nice you could come. It really was. Now you know Marsh, don't you? Yes, yes. Oh, and this is Evelyn, Sean's wife. How do you do? Hello. Heard a lot about you. Do you work at all, Evelyn? Or does the baby take up? Or your thing? No. Oh! She works some days. Do you know what my biggest regret is? What's that, Colin? That none of you ever met Carol. Who? Carol, my ex fiance She was strong. I think I can speak for all of us, Colin, when I say how very sorry we were to hear about your loss. Thank you. Oh, waiter, waiter! What's the matter? Waiter! What do you want to add on to that for? We're supposed to be cheering him up. He didn't want to listen to that. It had to be say. Now, not a word about her again. Keep it cheerful. For God's sake, Evelyn, try and smile just for once. Sorry, I forgot to bring this in before. These are some pictures so you can see how she look like. Carol? Yes, I thought you'd like to. Is this her? Oh, she's lovely going, wasn't she? Oh, it's so nice you brought them, Colin. Oh, yes. It's nice too that... You can look at them without, you know. Oh, oh no, he doesn't upset me. Not now. I was upset at the time, you know? Naturally. But after that, well, the first week I couldn't even speak. Couldn't accept that the most perfect person I ever met was gone. I thought I would ask just to be with her. I was broken because I was not with her when it happened. 
Somebody told me after she was uh, well gone. But then I started thinking, if I died, there will, I would be grateful for all I had since I was a kid. Wonderful friends like you lot, that even after this year, are still here, being the best people I've met. So one of the things I just want to say is that I'm not worried about what happened. I just want you to know that, despite everything that happened, in a funny sort of way, I too am very, very... <laughs> Did I say the wrong thing? <laughs> Diana always flings herself into whatever she does. Earth and soul. You're a lucky man, Paul. Yes. It could have been me at one point. Remember? Diana and me instead of Diana and you. Still, you're an happily lucky old Paul. And if I'd married Dee, I wouldn't have met Carol. I mean, I know that she's dead, but I feel like she's here, watching me. I'm going to see if this is alright. Good old Sean. He still can see it. Can he? No. How do you manage to keep it up with him? I don't bother. Oh, well, that's marriage. How will you know? Oh, well, I... I mean, um... I'm so sorry, everyone. I just wanted to make sure I turned the gas off. Remember when we used to go round to tea? To tea and her sister for us? Oh, yes. Every weekend. Mind you, Paul was in such a state he could never eat, though. He said to me, how the hell am I supposed to sit down opposite a fantastic-looking girl like that and be expected to eat anything? He really had it bad. For Barbara? Barbara? Come of it for you. Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, look, he's shy. I remember one time Paul took an napkin from her house to remind him of her. All men are romantics at heart. I never did that sort of thing. <laughs> you know something, Cole? What? I just remember I still got a napkin I took from this house. Oh, have you? Yes, I used it to clean the car with. What are you doing, woman? I'll get a glove. No, I can't use a glove. I have to wash it out. Not for you. For the chair. Accidents will happen. Oh, well. <laughs> you have to excuse my husband. He's changed over the years. Well, I dare say we've changed in some ways. You please with that card of yours? Yes, it gets me about. I bet it's got a carpet that fits. I think I'll consider getting one sometime. A cheap one with no wheels. Oh, lay off, Evelyn. People used to say you can't join the mounted police. You're a little girl. Little girls don't join the mounted police. Little girls do nice things like typing and knitting and nursing and having babies. So I married Paul instead. John, for heaven's sake, get Paul down here. <laughs> What's the matter with her? What's wrong? What's the matter with her? <laughs> get away. Oh, can I? Get away from me, you bitch. <laughs> we could try slapping her face. <laughs> I'll phone the doctor upstairs, Paul. What started that? I don't really know. She just started talking about the mounted police. I remember one time. Carol. Do me a favor. Just shut up for one minute about Carol, would you? I'm glad I came round this afternoon. I don't know how you lot ever manage without me, eh? Marge gave Diana one of her sleeping pills. Sorry about that, Cole, old mate. Doesn't happen every day. I hope not. You must come to our house next time. Absolute peace. Marry a woman who's miserable. That's the secret of a successful union. He is so small, isn't he? The feeling you both must have looking at him. He's not bad. We're going in a minute. Colin. Are you off? Yes. Well, goodbye, Evelyn. Been a great pleasure meeting you. Bye. Cheer up, old call. Bye, Colin. Take care. Say goodbye to Dee and Marsh. Will you? Oh, sure. Diana will be sorry she missed you. Good old call. Just the same. There are worse ways of spending the time than peacefully with your friends. Nice to sit with your friends now and again. Nice.
kaya kanya ni ni crowd of oh. fans or ano I guess yeah, I'd I'd like I like uh, yeah. parang being her shield sa nasa harap ako niya. always taking care of me like even throughout the day like it's my pillow you know just even like last night just lying down and he's like oh your pillow and I, I feel like, like little things like that he's always like watching out for me like you know Sino nga ba ang hindi kikiligin sa mag-asawang Barbie at Martin? Pero paano nga kaya nila nalaman na sila ang para sa isa't isa? Yeah, she's very beautiful physically. And, and she's also, she has a good heart. It's a mixture of the right elements that would make her perfect. Plus she's also very beautiful. Can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> I felt ready for a, a wife. Like when he felt ready, to be married. I think it's a good signal for you, for a person, you know, to, to get into a relationship. Like if you, you know, if you're very young and you're not even ready, you know, to, to back it up with a commitment, you're not even ready to, to marry this person. I think it wouldn't be the right time to, you know, to just, you know, to play with your emotions, to give your emotions away. Yeah, but I guess it's one thing to be attracted to somebody. It's a completely different thing to, to, you know, to decide to, you know, yeah. to commit. But I guess the general rule is, I mean, if you're still too young, if you're not, if you're not yet done with school and you're, you're totally, you know, not ready yet, then, then I guess, you know, you have to just wait, just wait a little bit. Mm. <laughs> oh, mga kabataan, maghintay daw muna ha. Pero paano nga ba malalaman kung handa ka na? It's always good to focus on, ano nga, to allow God to change you first. Try to, um, to look for myself first. Allow God to define me first, and then, yeah, and then, everything fell into place. Um, before I was more insecure, but like, you know, when I started walking with God, I started having um, confidence. And upon knowing how much God loves me, I know that I also ought to love myself. You know, not not to play around with with relationships. You know, like just focus on God and wait for the right person. Because if you have so much baggage from your past, it's gonna hurt your future husband, future wife. To yeah. Constantly release it to God. Because that's what we did um, when 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 I realized that I, uh, I was attracted to Barbie. Right. But, uh, God, God, if it's from you, then diba, I release Barbie to you. Yeah, we, we both did the same thing. Like when I liked him, it was like God, I, this is how I feel about Martin. But if this isn't from you, I don't want it. At ngayon ngang ini enjoy na nila ang buhay magasawa. Heto pa ang ilang mga bagay na natutunan nila. The, the selfishness level goes down when you make decisions. It's not just about your own comforts about your own dreams but but what does God want and how can I how can I also serve others and especially when we got married it's another yeah another level yeah of, of character training you know when your destiny becomes too big for you God raises up somebody to to share it with diba? so and so that seat is just there so it's um you know but you have to do your best to keep it uh, clean to keep it clean. before she comes before she comes <laughs> When God starts um, introducing you know, the right one for you, and then she, she sees that seat all dirty and, uh, and used, you know, it's, it's not fitting for God's princess. We've all made mistakes in the past, so it's not hopeless, you know, for people who may be watching this thinking, oh, but I've already ruined my past. But, you know, God can always restore. I mean, if, it doesn't matter what you've done in the past, you know. God can give you a new heart. And you have to let, let God write your love story to spare you a lot of pain.